Okay, so let's just close this key command box. We'll come back to this in a second. Okay, right. Some basic commands. Here's some more. Okay, now um, C turns your cycle range on off. That's one. And G opens your global tracks, although that's something that having a key command assigned to it isn't particularly useful because you hardly ever do it, but there it is, it's assigned to that. But C to turn your cycle on off is useful. Um, okay, now what else can you do? Um, yeah, I just want to quickly show you one more thing. Um, the angle bracket keys, that's the full stop and comma key. Best to think of them as the angle bracket keys because it's an arrow pointing in each direction, which makes it easy to remember that that is forward rewind and it steps you forward or backwards one bar at a time. Remember when we looked at markers. If any markers live along the top here, then holding down control and using the angle brackets steps you forward or back through the available markers one by one. Otherwise, angle bracket keys in either direction is forward rewind. If you hold down shift, you are then in fast forward or fast rewind. Hold down shift and use the angle bracket keys and you're then stepping forward or back by eight bars at a time, which is fast rewind. Or fast forward and that's really makes it quick to zip up and down your song eight bars at a time and then when you arrive at where you want to be roughly just let go of shift and then use the angle brackets keys to then step just a bar at a time to be exactly where you want to be okay so shift modifies your forward rewind to be fast forward fast rewind okay Right, let me show you another one. Let me just move that out of the way, that playhead. All right, watch, um, oh yes, I'll tell you what we do. Zooming, let's look at that now. Zoom, by default, of course, you can drag either end of this of this scrolling block thing to zoom, but it's not very efficient, that. You can also use the little zoom things for horizontal and vertical zoom here. But zoom, by default, is achieved by using the command key in combination with the four arrow keys, that's the up, down, left, right arrow keys that live all by themselves uh, between the number keys pad area of the QWERTY board and the actual main QWERTY area, you know, the up, down, left, right arrows. Okay, so hold down command, arrow down, while holding command is zoom in vertically, up arrow with command is zoom out vertically, right arrow with command is zoom in horizontally, right arrow, oh sorry, left arrow with command is zoom out. So with command, down arrow is zoom in vertically, up arrow is zoom out vertically, right arrow is zoom in horizontally, left arrow is zoom out horizontally. Okay, so that's your zooming. Okay, now watch this. Let me just move that playhead out of the way. I'm going to highlight this orange region. I then press the keys Control Alt Z and notice that the with Control and Alt held down, notice that the mouse has turned into a magnifying glass. Right, here we go. Control Alt Z with the orange region selected. There it is. Orange region is now perfectly fitted to the width of my range. Page grid. Okay, because Control Alt Z is zoom to fit selection, and the selection was the orange region. Okay, I'll just zoom out using Command and the arrow keys. Okay, so if I highlight these three regions, Control Alt Z fit selection. The selection was these three regions, and they are now fitted horizontally. Okay, again, command keys. Oh, sorry, the command and arrow keys to zoom out. Okay, that's zoomed to fit selection. Now let's open the key commands uh, dialog box and add two additional custom key commands. All right, so open the key command dialog using Alt K, and in the search box here, search for zoom. Okay, now. See here, zoom to fit selection, horizontally and vertically. 
that's the one we just showed you which is assigned as you see from the details here which show you the key command column for that command a little bit more in detail it's control alt Z. It, it calls it option here but you know on the on the Apple keyboard it says alt so control alt Z is zoom to fit selection now two down from that is zoom to fit locators and we want to make that very close to zoom to fit selection so they're easy to remember so what I do is I set zoom to fit locators to be command alt Z so zoom to fit selection by default is control alt Z and we're now going to make zoom to fit locators command alt Z so highlight it click learn by key label and command alt Z that combination of keys is not assigned to any other command which is why I like to use it and it's extremely close to zoom to fit selection and that is now assigned okay okay now go to your search and type in locators and the one we want is this set locators by region slash events which is this menu command here set locators by regions on the local menu bar of the arrange area okay so highlight it set locators by regions events click learn by key label so it's latched and we're going to assign that to the zero key above O and P which I find is the best key to use so press 0 above O and P there we are that also is not assigned to any key command 0 is free and therefore logic doesn't put up any warning box saying that's already assigned to a key command you can easily assign it to set locators by regions and because it's the 0 key it's really easy to remember okay close the key commands box let me just zoom in a bit with command right arrow and command down arrow okay so fit selection is select the regions you want to fit and then control alt z but now watch what we've added i'll highlight these three regions press the zero key hey presto my cycle range is assigned my left right locator range is assigned to that selection because we assigned the zero key to set locators by regions and these are the regions selected therefore when I press zero the locators left right are assigned by these regions if I select all four and press zero the locators cover all four if I select just one press zero just one etc so I'll select these three regions press zero and the cycle range or locators are now assigned to those three regions and now the other command we added which was command alt z to zoom fit locators here we go command alt z hey presto the locators range is now perfectly fitted ready to press play and cycle around what you want to edit and it will not jump either end when the playhead gets there and it's fitted perfectly to get you the maximum width available to work there we are so again I'll zoom out command and our arrow keys there we are okay so it's as simple as that highlight the regions you want one or more and use control alt z to fit the selection of those regions or use command alt z to fit the locators perfectly to the width and whatever you select use the zero key to simply assign the locator range to that selection so select your regions press zero to uh, assign the locators to that selection and then command alt z to fit it perfectly and off you go okay so I'll use command and left arrow again to zoom out but um, isn't there an easier way that we can get from this back to this without having to keep holding command and tapping zoom out yes there is and I'll show you that now